Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum and a good day to you. I am Dr. Rosita Zakaria, a consultant family medicine specialist from Prison 18 Putrajaya Health Clinic and the head of family medicine service of the Ministry of Health Malaysia. Congratulations for signing up and choosing to get the COVID-19 vaccination. I hope you are in good health and ready to be vaccinated. So today, I'm going to give you a briefing on the COVID-19 vaccination before you consent to the injection. Firstly, I'm sure you are aware that the COVID-19 vaccine is given to control the transmission of COVID-19 disease. But how does it do that? In actual fact, when you get vaccinated, your body will produce antibodies. These antibodies will cause an increase in the body's resistance to fight the disease. So if the virus attacks you, your body will fight it off, hence reducing your chances of getting a COVID-19 infection. However, if you do get infected, inshallah, vaccination can reduce the risk of getting a severe COVID-19 infection. So as a reminder, even if you have completed two doses of vaccine injections, you will still need to abide to the SOPs. While outdoors, make sure you wear a mask, observe physical distancing and hand washing with soap and water or hand sanitizer. By getting vaccinated, you have in fact carried out a very important responsibility that is to produce herd immunity. When more people get vaccinated, the more people in our population develop antibodies. Hence, people at risk who are not eligible to receive the vaccine will be protected. Today, you will be given the COVID-19 vaccination. For your information, the number of vaccines available in Malaysia has increased to five, namely from Pfizer, Sinovac, AstraZeneca, Janssen, and CanSino Bio. You are not allowed to choose the type of vaccine. Vaccines will be given according to the available stock and not by choice. Our staff at the Vaccination Administration Centre will inform you of the name of the vaccine to be injected. Don't worry because all vaccines are safe and effective. However, after the COVID-19 vaccination, you may experience some reactions or side effects. The side effects that have been reported are mild and temporary in nature. Among the mild side effects that are often reported are pain at the injection site, feeling tired, headache, muscle pain, chills, joint pain, fever, redness or swelling at the injection site, nausea, feeling unwell, swelling of the lymph nodes, and other side effects that may be reported from time to time. Rarely, COVID-19 vaccination can cause severe allergic reactions. These symptoms usually occur within a few minutes to an hour after being vaccinated. Therefore, after vaccination, you will need to be in the designated observation area for at least 15 minutes. You must inform the health worker on duty or seek immediate treatment if you experience the following symptoms. Difficulty in breathing, swelling of the face, lips or throat, feeling your heart beating fast, rashes appearing all over the body, feeling dizzy and weak or any other symptoms. Having said that, I would like to re-emphasize that the severe allergic reactions are rare and the benefits of vaccination clearly outweigh the risk of its side effects. Finally, I hope and pray for your safety and health and being protected from COVID-19 infection, inshallah. If you need further clarification regarding vaccination, kindly consult the medical officer on duty at the Vaccine Administration Centre.